Bosses and Philemon and Diopalion and Tira. And we will start first with um, Bosses and Philemon. <laughs> so we have Bosses and Philemon's background. So Bosses and Philemon is a classical Greek myth that tells the story of a poor elderly couple who lived in the region of Spiritia. So this myth is believed to have originated in the first century AD. So when we say AD, this means or stands for um, Anno Domini, which is a Latin for Year of Our Lord, and has been passed down through various literary works, including the Metamorphosis of the Roman poet Ovid. So we have the characters inside this myth. So we have Zeus, the king of Olympians and wardens of travelers, and all those who sought shelter in a strange land. And we have Hermes, the messenger of God, also one of God's sons, patron of travelers, merchant and bringer of good luck. And we have Bosses and Philemon, an, an elderly hospitable couple who lead their life in poverty. Then we have Philemon and Bosses in Greek mythology, a poor virgin couple who hospitably received Zeus and Hermes when their richer neighbor, neighbors turned away the two gods who were disguised as wayfarers. Pirja, where Bosses and Philemon lived, was a region that covered a large inland portion of present-day Turkey. Persian culture was dis distinct from Greek culture, and the Persian people worshipped many gods from, uh, different from the Greeks. This myth is a reflection of Greek value of hospitality, importance of kindness to strangers, and the reward of those who, who showed generosity and humility. So, this time, we will know the full story of Bosses and Philemon. So, let's proceed to the story itself. So, the story started when um, Zeus, the gods Zeus and Hermes decided to um, disguise themselves as an ordinary person, and then they traveled and... Uh, They traveled village to village seeking for hospitality. So they were looking for uh, seeking for a place to sleep that night. And then they, they have been rejected by many villagers. Dayon, not until they reached the humble home of Paan, humble home of um, Bausas and Philemon. So Bausas and Philemon, um, they they welcomed the two gods. So they, they thought that the two, god, uh, the two gods are or the ordinary pizza, so they welcome them and give them a food to eat and a wine to drink. So, both at that time were, was like was shocked because or confused because although she keeps on like refilling the beech wood beech wood cup of the two gods with wine, the the wine is still full. So na 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 confused siya then then Murasha, um suspicious nga ay murag yang the visitors are not actually um, ordinary pisans so, then later on na realize ginadawa nga mga asawa nga the two travelers or visitors were koan gods moto they offered the one goose that they have they, that goose was actually koan na nang guard the only guard the guard of their house and nila gi sacrifice kay para di offer atong ilang visitors then although kay Bisag nakahatag na sila kuan pagkaon and wine. They keep on apologizing for their humble kuan humble hospital hospitality and uh, not to mention the lahat ng house is a rustic and simple cottage. Then moto then the moto um, when when Philemon was about to kill the goose, the goose ni lupad sa pa punta sa lap ni Zeus and then. Moto Zeus revealed, revealed themselves nga dili sila ordinary pisans, they are gods. Then Moto um 
They ilahang di intansi the gods convince Pan, Bosses and Philemon nga mo uban nila sa mountain, sa top sa mountain, mo climb sa mountain. Then when they turn back, nakita nila na the the sa Phrygia nga ilang lugar is has been destroyed by flood. Then mo to then ilahang house nga cottage na na turn into temple. So sila na lang nabili dito then. Since they they are so hospita hospitable, nang gi grant ila ang fish, then one of their fish is paan to live together forever and be guardians of that temple. Then another fish is kung na kung one of them has died, the other will die also. Ma magkuban sila dito kamatayan then. Paan then buwato when they die, um ila ang they turn into an intertwining, intertwining tree, which is one of uh, one is an oak, one is a linden. Then, what is that? What is that? Then, so feeling a story, Moses and Philemon was actually inspired sa Abraham and Sarah's story. It was actually found in Genesis 19:1, nga poan Sarah and Abraham feasted the two travelers. Na ilang ipakaw, ilang i-accommodate. Then later on, the two travelers revealed, revealed themselves as, as angels. So, moto siya nga, na himo siyang story of, sa hospitability stories nga, kung daw, if you met as strangers, you should be kind to them, you should, you should be hospitable, you should accommodate them because you don't know, kayo, you don't know what if that stranger is a god or an angel. Now let's proceed to Alan. So, Bosses and Philemon, the applied analysis. So, the myth of Bosses and Philemon is the story that conveys important moral and cultural values of ancient Greece. The story shows how humble and virtuous people can be rewarded while the wicked and selfish can be punished. The myth also highlights the importance of hospitality, respect to the God, and the power of kindness. One possible interpretation of this myth is that it represents the ancient Greek belief in the importance of hospitality and respect for strangers. So in ancient Greek culture, hospitality was seen as a sacred duty and guests were treated with great respect and generosity. So in the story bosses and Philemon demonstrate this virtue by welcoming the disguised gods into their home and offering them food and shelter. So in return, the gods reward them with blessings and transform their humble home into the grand temple. So the myth suggests that showing respect for the gods can bring blessings and good fortune. So another Another interpretation of this myth is that it represents the ancient Greek belief in the power of virtue and the rewards of living a virtuous life. So Bosses and Philemon are portrayed as humble and virtuous individuals who live a simple life but possess great wisdom and kindness. So, they're, they're, they are constructed with arrogant and selfish people of the nearby city who are punished by the gods and their wicked, wickedness. So the story suggests that a living, that the living a virtuous life can bring can bring rewards and blessings with, while the wickedness will ultimately lead to punishment and suffering. So overall, the myth. The myth of Bosses and Philemon offers a powerful message about the importance of hospitality, respect, virtue, and in ancient people. So the myth also conveys the importance of showing respect for the gods who were central to ancient Greek culture and religion. So it reminds of us that our actions have consequences and that living a virtuous life can bring rewards and blessings. So even, even the humblest of individuals, individuals can earn the favor of the gods through acts of kindness and generosity. That's all. So the second myth is Nicolian and Pira, which is inspired 
by Noah's Ark. So we will before tackling the the story itself, we will first discuss the background of this myth. So this myth tells the tale of a great flood that destroyed all of humanity except for two individuals who were chosen to survive and repopulate the earth. And this story of Napoleon and Hero resembles a lot to the biblical story of Noah's Ark. And this is the version of the ancient Greek in their attempt to purify the old world um, from its sin and give birth to a new race of humans. Napoleon was the son of a god um, from us through a sea spirit by the name of Lemini or Kishon. He was the ruler of Pythia, a region in the central Greece. Being Prometheus' son, the god warned him that the earth would soon be flooded by Zeus. Through this, Napoleon and Pyrrha survived an inhalation. Of humanity. They live the rest of their lives in peace, honoring the gods 
and the memory of the fallen brothers and sisters. So, muto siya ikuan, story ani si Colin and Fira. So, same thing siya sa Noah's Ark. So, paglabay nila sa mga pato, so, ikuan, rin muto siya nga male and female. Okay, so let us now jump up to uh, uh, analysis um, about the Jukalian and Fera. So it is based on uh, also based on Noah's Ark. So allow me to sit here. So um, the about this analysis, let me just give you a short brief or. Um, by using a story element para uh, we know how to go, uh, what do you call this? Compar uh, comparative analysis just for us to be more enlightened about the story of Noah's Ark and um, Jokalian and Terra. So, this is the story of Jokalian and Terra mythology. So, the exposition of the story, Zeus travels to Earth to see how bad, uh, how bad humans were when his souls, the humanity, are weakened, or he commanded Poseidon, which is Poseidon, the god of the sea, to send flood to earth and destroy the human race. So the rising action, uh, and because the, uh, and because Jukalion and Pera are righteous, um, they were instructed to build an ark uh, by Prometheus. Okay, so um, on the climax. Uh, we are talking about the Jukalian and the Feras quantum myth uh, story. So on the climax, the flood comes to Earth and lasted nine days and nine nights. So uh, Jukalian and Fera are in, in the ark, so they are saved. They are only who survives from the flood. Uh, on falling action, uh, Jukalian and Fera offer sacrifice to Zeus for saving them from the flood. So the resolution of this story is both of them were sad. Um, I mean, they were sad because they are the only human being left because of their sadness. Themis or Themis is instructed to give a riddle to Jukalion and Fera. So they solve the riddle and throw a rock uh, at their back, and those rocks transform into humans. So those thrones by Jukalion. As what, um, what do you, what's your name? <laughs> Angel. Uh, uh, earlier, uh, Jokalion become, uh, the, the rock that is being thrown by Jokalion becomes a man, and the same with Vera that becomes a woman. This is the way uh, uh, they uh, repopulate the earth. So, this is what they are uh, trying to implement about this kind of theory. So uh, imagine, no? So if you are just throwing a rock and then it becomes a human monkuyal, it re it really exists nowadays and people overpopulate the Siguran Earth. So um, let us uh, focus now about the uh, Noah's Ark. So the ex exposition. I hope you are still uh, listening. If you have any questions, you can dial nine one one. So. The exposition, God saw the earth was filled with evil and violence. So he decided that he sent a flood to destroy life under heavens. So this is um, the uh, biblical story about the Noah's Ark. So uh, the rising action of, uh, action of the story, which is <coughs> sorry, Noah's Ark. Uh, but Noah found grace in the sight of God. God told Noah because Noah is righteous. So, dili siya makasasala. And man, uh, a righteous man, God told Noah to build an ark to save himself and his family. So, just uh, not like si uh, Jokalion and Fera, si, sila rin doon ang nasave. And then, sa si Noah's ark is, uh, ang nasave is si Noah and his family. So, uh, found grace in sight of God. God told Noah, because Noah is righteous, and God told Noah to build an ark to save himself and his family. And God also said, uh, told Noah to save the uh, two of every animal, which is a male and a female. So the climax of the story of the biblical um, story, Noah's Ark, um, Noah did as just God has commanded him. 
even though making an art is not an easy thing, no? uh, it, it, it is really a uh, trabaho so and uh, knowing ang uh, siya rin yung trabaho is lisod juga ay siya. <clears throat> so the following action of this story, um, God sent the flood for 40 days. Ilagay ito ka days ang sa Nine. 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 <laughs> so, uh, in this Noah's, uh, Noah's Ark story, uh, God sent the flood for 40 days and 40 nights. So, it was so very long, actually. No? So, the resolution of the story is after the earth was dry, God told Noah to come out of the dark with all the animals to be fruitful and multiply re repopulating the earth. And now we are going to see the sim similarities uh, uh, in the characters. They are both considered living in righteous life. Just like pareha uh, silang mga batasang the two stories. I mean. Noah and Eucarius uh, and Pera in surrounding that is filled with wickedness. So um, they are both. Uh, they are all all <coughs> surrounded by um, evilness and wickedness. So the theme of this uh, story, or there are uh, there are two major themes: are God's judgment of sin and His grace and mercy to those who believe in Him and live righteously. So the settings of the story for the settings, yes. Uh, both settings of the whole earth filled with wickedness uh, for problem and solutions. And the problem is the whole world is filled with sin. The solution is to stop the sin. God flooded the earth but saved those who believed uh, and followed Him. Um, I remember a song, pero din lang um, So the central idea or the main idea of this uh, story uh, it is an uh, idea God is holy and He hates sin. So, sin and continually live in the sin. Sin has a punishment. No? Just, uh, wh why we know there are sins? Or, we are taught by Bibles and our, our old elderly. Okay, so in the... Uh, 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 in talking about their culture, if you look in our present time, in our present day, we're going to read it again in culture, both of them have the culture around them that sinning is normal and living righteously is abnormal. Like, it's a big deal. But then again, feeling that if, if we are perfect enough, enough, then we are God, right? Okay, so that's it. This is missing here. Hello. That ends our report. Uh, let's